Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Hollywood Sports. Guys, I want to talk about to the NFL's playoff matchup between the Green Bay Packers and the Washington Redskins. And Packers.com, Mike Spofford identifies five key matchups in Sunday's Packers Redskin game. There's five key matchups. And the first matchup I want to talk about is Brian Beluga versus Ryan Kerrigan. You know, Kerrigan is Washington's best defensive player, and he leads the Redskins with nine and a half sacks. That's what you call Pro Bowl numbers. He does, he does most of his rushing from the left side, which puts the onus on Beluga at the right tackle to keep him at bay. Beluga bounced back quickly from his ankle injury at Arizona and played well versus Minnesota. If he's another week healthier, that'll help the Packers. The second key matchup I want to talk about is Sam Shields or Der Demarius Randall of the Green Bay Packers versus Deshaun Jackson. If Shields gets cleared from the concussion protocol, He'll be back after missing three games. As the Packers' fastest corner, he's the logical matchup with Washington's speedy deep threat, Deshaun Jackson, as a healthier 7.6 yards average per reception. And he and Shields know each other from Jackson's Philadelphia days. The odds don't look good for Shields, though. Update, he's listed as doubtful on the injury report. And without him, the assignment likely goes to the rookie Randall, who has taken on major challenges already in his first season. The number three matchup that we need to focus on is Clay Matthews or Mekhi Hyde versus Jordan Reed, our all pro tight end Jordan Reed. Washington's tight end is the team's leading receiver in the three major categories. 87 catches, 952 yards, and 11 touchdowns. How will the Packers defend him? In some games this season, season, Matthews has been deployed against a dynamic tight end of this caliber, Seattle's Jimmy Graham. Other times, it's been Hyde's duty, Minnesota's Kyle Rudolph and Hyde has two interceptions in the past three games. Or Dom Capers could mix and match depending, depending on the situation. The number four key matchup in this game is James Jones versus Will Blackburn. It's possible that Blackburn will move into the slot with the recent signing of quarterback Gary Williams. But if he, st if he stays outside, he could line up against a former Green Bay teammate in Jones. These two would have gone against one another in several training camps when they were, mat when they were much younger players. Now they're veterans who have played for multiple teams and are getting another shot at the postseason glory. The number five key matchup in this game, Green Bay Packers versus these Washington Redskins will be Aaron Rodgers versus Kirk Cousins. Only once in 11 previous playoff starts has Rodgers possessed the lower regular season passer rating of the two quarterbacks. And that was by just one rating point last year against the Cowboys. Tony Romo won 113.2 to 112.2. His rating this season is nearly nine points lower than Cousins. 101.6 to 92.7 and it's Washington's quarterback being touted as the hot guy. 
with, with ratings of 100 plus in his last six games, including two uh, of 150 plus. Rodgers hasn't posted a rating above 100 since week six, the longest drought of his career as a starter. So guys, those were the five key matchups that we have in this game, the Green Bay Packers versus my Washington Redskins. And let me say one quick thing, guys. Nobody expected these Redskins to be there. You know, I barely expected them to be there, but I've been rooting them all year. They've been playing fantastic in the last four to five games, scoring over 30 points a game. I think this is going to be a great matchup. You guys stay tuned for the Green Bay Packers versus the Washington Redskins. And I, if you like the video, guys, hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe to Hollywood Sports. Subscribe to Hollywood Sports and you won't be disappointed. And as always, until next time, everybody, I will see you on the next video. Ross has got it. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. So we've got a young quarterback with some experience stepping onto the field today for the first time. Yeah, he's got a lot of talent, and it's just a matter of time until he takes that experience and matches it with all of his talent and becomes one of those guys that we say, hey, the game is going to hinge on him. I think he's very close to that. Double tight end formation. Young's got it. Setting the offensive lineup, one of the fastest wide receivers in the NFL is Deshaun Jackson. You know, he's fast, he's limber, he can go across the field, he can catch the short passes, and he can get deep down the field. You're right, he's one of the best in the NFL. The Redskins elect to take a timeout here before the second down snap. take on the best wide receiver on the other side. He is. Every defense needs a guy like Sam Shields where they can just say, go cover that guy all game long. That's how good he is. Now, looking at third down. The Packers with two extra defensive backs in the dime. We'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. And intercepted! Away from the ball, there's a flag down on the field. Boy, his head got yanked back the other way. An obvious face mask penalty.